Youth Olympic Games concludes. Organized by the International Olympic Committee or IOC, the international multi-sport event that ended August 26th in Singapore featured the talents of over 3,600 athletes aged 14 to 18 years. Our correspondent shares more on location. We are here at the Marina Bay in Singapore where the Youth Olympic Games 2010 has come to a successful close. The past 12 days have been filled with exceptional performances from 3,600 international athletes who have been giving their best in 26 different sports, with many of them surpassing their own records. I have some really good, so I'm really happy. Among these feats was China's weightlifter Deng Wei, who set a new world junior record for the girls' 58kg event as fellow Chinese athlete Tang Yi attained junior world records in three swimming events. The United Kingdom's Sam Oldham also garnered a gold medal in a gymnastics event. Countries whose athletes have emerged in the lead with top numbers of gold medals include China, Russia and South Korea. Notable wins also included the Bolivia boys' soccer gold as the Haitian team brought pride and joy to their still-recovering nation with an admirable silver medal-winning performance. In the girls' soccer tournament, Chile's team dedicated their gold medal to the 33 miners awaiting rescue in the country's northern gold mine. Australia and Pakistan came out in the lead for boys' hockey, and Kui Bo, a 17-year-old diver from China, won a gold medal in the 3-metre springboard during what was the world's first nighttime open-air diving competition. In the windsurfing, Israel's Mayan Rafik clinched gold for the boys' Techno 293 competition as Thailand's Siripon K. Duong Ngam attained a remarkable five consecutive races for the girls' event. I think the Youth Olympic Games is very great. The people are very friendly, the competitions are very exciting. I learned the qualities of respect, friendship and excellence and how they are linked together. Along with engaging in sports, the athletes coming together for this year's Youth Olympics also have a better appreciation of different countries' culture and learn about the importance of protecting the environment through the cultural and educational program organized for them. Indeed, the IOC emphasized the cultural and educational value of the Games and implemented multilingual and multicultural requirements to ensure the fulfillment of the theme Learning to Know, Learning to Be, Learning to Do, and Learning to Live Together. Meanwhile, the United Nations Environment Program, or UNEP, sponsored a series of fun and educational activities to raise eco-awareness and encourage better stewardship of the environment. Youth Olympics is really fun. It's quite a good opportunity to promote um, racial harmony. The nicest thing is that you meet people all over the world and, and see stuff differently because you meet them and talk with them. It's really nice. The games culminated in a grand closing ceremony. This is the Prime Master Television reporting from Singapore. We join the world in congratulating all participating athletes as we thank the International Olympic Committee, the United Nations and host Singapore for a memorable inaugural event. May the Olympic spirit of good sportsmanship, healthy fitness and friendship continue to shine to all corners of the world. Youth Olympics! <laughs>